Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm going to talk about the, how we can use a use reducer with our context API. So we're going to build this small little tiny app here. So as you can see that it's running in localhost 3000 and the initial state would be uh, empty. But if I click it in white, it's going to show me the white background. And if I click on dark, then it's going to show me a dark uh, background, which is a theme. So if I click on light, it's going to show me a light theme and dark is going to be it's going to show me a dark theme and we're going to build this uh, using the uh, reducer and also using the uh, context api so let's begin so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in my uh here visual studio and i'm going to go to the uh git check i'm going to go to the let me go to the another branch which i have empty nothing nothing else so I think it's a context reduce. Uh... Yep. So now I went to this uh, another branch, which I have an empty blank project, which is running on localhost 3000 here. So as you can see in my app.js is nothing else, but this is exactly which is coming with the uh, template, which is comes with a building a CLI, right? It reacts CLI. So I'm gonna. Uh, uh, put remove everything and type here test okay i'm going to remove this and type your test so i can see my test is here which is good so the first thing is uh let me build with uh the context here so i'm going to go in new folder and i'm going to build a context and this is the context going to be a theme context so i'm going to build a theme context here and yes i need to import the the uh react i need to import a react from react and I need to use the the create context, right? So I will use the create context here, and and the create context is going to be coming from React, and I'm gonna create uh, the theme context, and I can say here the create my context, and I'm gonna export this context, okay? Uh, Export export default and theme context okay so it's going to create me a context my initial value would be nothing uh, for for the context it's it's empty it's fine so i'm going to import use this and create the uh, theme context and i just going to export it okay so once i created the context now so now let me create a couple of the components here uh, and the first component i'm going to create is a uh, home.js and this is basically nothing. It's going to be empty component, uh, in empty component with a, uh, and I would just the name. So React component function export. So this is going to be home. And I'm going to call this home component from app.js here. So I'm going to call this as a home. Uh, home so i can see my home here okay so once i have created home i could create another component called button buttons and in this button component is also uh, the same one here and here i will create a new button here and this is going to be uh, the theme button so the one button is going to be light and another button is going to be a dark okay so i'm going to use these buttons and i'm going to pass this button in my home here okay uh, and this is going to be my i'm going to call here the button component buttons components and now i can see a uh, two buttons here light and dark okay which is good so now i go back to my app and in app which is running here uh, on this one uh, the class name has uh, app here so i'm going to give some style here and the style is going to be a uh, border uh, let me give some border uh, one pixel solid and gray so i can see where is uh, it's up to here but if i want to cover a whole page then what i can do for this demo is i can give uh, the height height of 100 vh okay viewport height so now it's going to cover all all my viewport height here now it doesn't do anything okay so now uh, let me first build in app.js which i have it here so uh, let me build some let me use some of the uh, context which we recently create we create a theme context so let me uh, use that theme context here so to use a theme context the first thing is we need a provider all right and the theme context is called the theme context dot we, we can use a provider 
uh, if you guys don't know how we can use a provider and consumer or use state and uh, use context then you guys can also check my another video which i explain uh briefly uh, i'm going to put that link below in this uh, video and i'm going to also put the the another link for how you can use a use reducer uh, and i will put that link in below in this video as well so you guys can check that and for now i'm going to put use a provider here so i need to import this him team context uh let me go here so this is a team context team context and i need to import here i got here so i can use a provider so now i have a team context with surrounding here home so once i have team context provider then i can send a value in here so i'm going to send a value for test and i'll try to see that i can get a button i can get a value here using a use uh, context and here we need to provide the team context and here in the context we can get the value so if i console log this context and use context not defined i need to define it from react so once i have this one so if i show my console here okay if i show my console the test is printing it's come from button and this test is coming from app we are sending from app here app has a home we didn't de we didn't do anything in the home it's just a uh, the inner component there is just sitting there and from the app we are sending the value and we are getting in a button using the context api and using also of course the provider and and the uh, consumer here uh, we haven't used actually a consumer but we're using a use context but it's exact same way that we can get value here which is good so now, now now the next step is you know we also already got this now our next step is to use a use a reducer here and instead of sending a value we're going to use a use reducer okay so to use a reuse reducer what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna use the uh, use reducer here and use reducer will take a th three of the uh, parameter here so the first text uh, is reducer which is basically nothing it's just a function and here is an initial state we need to provide and here it is a uh, init that uh, uh, which is an initial uh, it's not the initial action it's a lazy initialization lazy initialization we can provide it this is an optional part here if something's like uh, calculation has been done then then we can provide the init functions for for that uh, calculations and we can use that as our initial state okay so once I create the reducer when I save it now it's gonna give a bunch of error here the first thing i need to import this reducer and once i import this reducer and the initial state i will say that my initial state would be uh, empty and i'm have to create a reducer because this doesn't know what is a reducer is so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a reducer a reducer is basically nothing it's just a uh, empty functions here and sorry not the empty functions i need to provide here the uh, state and the another one is uh, axon so now it's looking for what's my init i'm gonna uh, use this as well so in in here i can create a function called init and we need to return some value and basically this will return the initial value doing some calculations but for now i'm just gonna return the empty here okay so once it's empty then then it's, it will not uh, pro i mean the error will gone so the i'm gonna create also another data for team data uh, we, which i need to provide here so team data is basically it's a, it's going to be a, a object an object has a property called light and light has a background call uh, background is white here so i'll provide the white and and the color uh, is it's, it's a black okay now i will create another property here exactly the same one as a light but this is going to be a dark and background is going to be black and the color is going to be a white okay so once i have this theme data now i could use uh, this theme data on my I could use it here as well because this data is not even changed but i could use it in here as well if something is changed which is outside of this reducer at the initial state then we can use this lazy initializations uh, but uh, we nothing has been changed so i could directly use my uh, initializing part here so the initializing part would be a theme data dot light 
or or maybe let me use this and in init functions i will provide the team data dot light i can do this as well so once i did this now i will also try to see what's really going on with my state with this uh reducer state so i can want to see it here so now it says that okay now now this giving me as the object here this object so that's why it's complaining here so i'm going to print it as json stringify just to see so here i know my initial state would be which exactly what i send it here which is the uh, white uh background is uh, it's light so background is white and the color is black uh, and this would be my initial uh, uh, this init functions which i provided which i get it in my state which is here okay so the now the next step is we need to create a reducer here or uh, reducer is we need to create a user to call the action uh, to call the what when we click the button then we need to do something and we need to call the action uh, here and action is sitting inside the reducer here okay so what we're gonna do is uh, the standard way is to use a switch but we could also use of course you can use even else but the standard way is to use a switch here so this is this could be an action an action is basically nothing but if you guys check my interview i explain it well and but the action is basically nothing it's just an object sitting inside it and the object has a property called type and if the type is matched uh, with uh, the what this is a light then 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 return the another initial state right return the new state if this has been masked then return me a theme the data which i'm getting from and this is a light return me a light okay and another action another action could be if it return as match with dark then then return the initial state would be a dark this state will change as a dark here uh, if we're getting some data from this state then we could use it here but we are not getting any data so we don't have to use it and if there is a default uh, which it's not gonna be then then we can throw a new uh, error here okay and once the reducer is ready and once this is uh, state is ready the state has this one at the initial state which, which i provided here here the theme that light now this path doesn't do anything now so what we can we, we can send here in our context we can send our uh, it's the state and our uh, dispatch here so this is a state right which i have i don't need to send a state by the way because i'm using the class directly on the app here on the, on the top level so i can only send the uh, dispatch so it's really up to you how many data you can send it here in provider so if i send this dispatch dispatch is a function so i get uh, the dispatch here so instead of the context here then i will get the uh, dispatch here okay so once i have a dispatch and if i print the dispatch now it's undefined here but this is the dispatch it's sending it here and and i will get the the uh, dispatch here i should get the dispatch here uh, let me print the uh, let me print the first thing as a context and uh, uh, let me see yeah there's dispatcher action here as you can see the dispatcher action is here so i could use a dispatch here so whenever this button is clicked then i could use this dispatch here okay so now i will use this button and this button is basically nothing it's going to be a light so here i could use a dispatch function and i could provide a type uh, here and type is basically the accent type and this is going to be a light okay so if i click it of course uh, okay it's gonna dispatch is not a function it says that so if i go it here and if i provide this dispatch here and it will give me a state here and the dispatch oh i think i okay okay i understood it here i just wrote a uh, one curly braces that means it's just send a dispatch here but i need to send a, another curly bra bracket here to send as an object okay so now if i click of course it is light but if i click it and put it in another video another button here event and make this as dark then i'm it should work as a dark 
yep it worked as a dark and you can see this is changed but if i click as that light is going to change so it's going to change my state based on the using the dispatch functions which is right here now the only thing is to use this state with my uh, style here okay so to use this as a style uh, let me try with binding directly here is that is that gonna work nope it's not gonna work like this uh, if i bind it with the state here directly if i check my uh, the here here it is the uh, class but if i check this it is showing as a string here which is this is not even a string then i could use something like this i then it will work yep it does work but it doesn't work because this guy doesn't have the height so what we can do is i can use this with the another div here and just to make sure that it's going to cover everything you know so i'll put my state here put this guy here so now if i click dark dark uh, is, is it going to be a cover here where is my dark is here is dark and this is going to be cover hole and this is going to be dark okay guys so, so i need to put this style here and this guy should be here so now if i click dark it's going to show me a dark if i click light it's light all right so basically i'm going to uh, revise one more time what i really did from the beginning is the first thing is i create the uh, context which is called team context here which is good and the second one is go to the app.js and use that team context as a provider and send some values and i'm getting this value on my button here here it is so once i get this uh, uh, context when i create this context then i send the uh, context as a dispatch function so i get the dispatch functions here so in my app.js yep i send the uh, dispatch functions here in my context and dispatch function is basically nothing it's just coming from the use reducer and use reducer has something called reducer which i created here and the initial data would be empty, but the innate functions I provided here as my team data that light. And this is my data, which I have available. And, and this is my state of my reducer. And this is the dispatch function of reducer. Okay, guys, that's all for this video. I'm going to put this link down to my, uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to put also the GitHub link for this uh, project. And hope you guys learn something new. And please let me know if you guys have any questions. And please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye for now.